You must keep this out. And I'm trying to tell you that even if you don't keep this out, yeah. if you don't keep this out, you won't go to hell because of it. Really? But listen, listen, listen. Stop for me. I'm confused. I'm confused. I need you to help me out. I'm confused. So, okay, okay, I'm not fine. That's what I said. I'm confused. So, so wait a minute. So, Jesus Christ come down for our sins, right? Stop. I'm got to go. Relax. So what does that mean? Do I have to keep the commandment or not? Do you love Christ? Yes or no? Do you do you listen to Christ? Do you love Christ? Yes or no? We we use the word of God, right? You came here. Right, he asked a question, right? We, we listen to your question. We answer your question. Am I correct? Be fair, bro. Be fair. We listen to your question. We listen to your question. Now, can you answer my question so I can listen to you? Because co communication is two way, not just you. Right? You came in, you ask a question, he answer you. No, but no, he did. He did listen to you. Listen what I'm saying, but we ask a question, he didn't answer. You ask a question, they answer you. We ask you one question, you're not answering. Do you love Jesus? Okay. After that, I'm going to say to you. John 14, 15. Just what, right? You said you bring Jesus, which is very good. Right? He you show you that. Jesus was the that's why you're not. Jesus was the very one of God. Okay. John, chapter 14. Wait, wait, wait. This is the word of God right here, right? Huh? Okay, go ahead. John, chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me. You say that with out of your own mouth, you love Jesus, right? Give me that part from the top again. If you love me. If you love me, go ahead. Keep my commandments. That's not what the Bible says. Wait, wait, wait. wait no, wait, before that. What did the Bible say? What is Jesus commandment? There you go, right there. No, 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 you answer it. I answer it? Yes, sir. Answer this 20 verse 2. I mean, verse 2. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We're going to. All right. Uh, Twenty verse eight. Let's, we're we're going to read the, come, uh, Jesus' commandment. Wait, wait. Read, read. Exodus chapter twenty verse eight. My, 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 uh, what's your, what's your name? No, I am listening to you. You ask me a question, I'm answering. Wait, wait. Why, why you don't let me answer your question? You ask a question. He said, he said, what is Jesus Christ's commandment? Don't go nowhere. Wait, wait, he asked me what is Jesus' commandment. That's what you say. Yes. Okay, so can I read it for you? Right. So can I read it for you? Okay, I'm gonna listen, but let me read it for you first. Relax, bro, relax. Relax, my brother. Read. Remember the Sabbath day. This is the Ten Commandment. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus' word. That's that is Jesus' word. When he came to die for our sins. Yes. When he came, when he came to lay his life down, not we weren't living underneath the old covenant of believing in a sinless and sinless blood. So why was Jesus Christ to live by? Did Christ keep the Sabbath day? Jesus Christ. Uh, this is what I'm saying, though. This is what I'm saying. Listen, I hear you. Going into, I hear you. This is what I'm brother. saying. I'm answering your question. Did Jesus Christ keep the Sabbath? Yes, he did. Right. Okay. So that's Jesus' word. So you right. said, you said, you keep my boy, what's your name, young man? Young man, what's your name? Yo, what's your name? I'm I'm I will let you talk. Go back and forth, what, we, what, what is your name? Oh, oh. Oh, what's his name? Aaron. Aaron, Aaron listen. Aaron, Aaron. Listen. Aaron, listen what I'm saying. I'm going to walk away if you You can walk away if you want, but guess what you're going to do? You're going to walk away and then not knowing exactly how to save your soul. Right. Because the same Jesus you're talking about, if you don't follow his commandment, when he comes back, he's going to kill you. Right. That's right. For sinning. Right. The punishment right. for sin is death. Right. Right. Did you know that? Today is a Sabbath day. We're trying to tell you Christ kept the Sabbath. Right. And I'm trying to tell you, according to the word of God, you must you, keep the Sabbath. And I'm trying to tell you that even if you don't keep the Sabbath, yeah. if you don't keep the Sabbath, you won't go to hell because of it. Really? But listen, listen, listen. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This is the doctrine. What scripture is that? You teach that you are... We are our own gods, and we determine whether we go to heaven or hell by what we do. Right. But I came to tell you that that's not the truth. That's Jesus not the truth? Christ, Jesus Christ the King came and died for our sins. So that means that's what? That's the last sacrifice. Okay, so that All means we what? Need to do, See, I don't want you to keep going on and on. See what I'm saying? Stop for a minute. I'm confused. I'm confused. 
I need you to, to help me out. Yes, sir, I'm confused. So, no, okay, fine. Yes, That's what I said. I'm confused. Yes, sir. I'll so, so wait a minute. So, Jesus Christ come died for our sins, right? He did. He died for everybody. Stop. I got you, bro. Relax. So, what does that mean? Do I have to keep the commandment or not? Hey, oh, fine. Fine. Oh, fine. Fine. Just answer my question, yes or no. Why ask your question? Just give me a yes or no answer. Just give me a yes and no answer. Because listen, because Christ died for our sin. Do I have to keep the commandment? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? If he says he loves his kid, if he says he loves his kid, but every day he walks up and smacks his kid, is that so it is that love? Would you sit back and be like, that's love? No, you wouldn't. So if I live every day not paying attention to God, worry about my own thing, messing with any female I want to mess with, but then I turn around and say, no, God, I really loved you. Is that real love? Well, you're a hypocrite yeah, because exactly. you're not doing what God says. Well, you're a hypocrite. Let me you're not, no, nah, man, let me you're, let me not, you're not going. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? It has a hat to do with it, bro. You just got here. You don't even know what has to do with it. That's how you, if that's how you. No, because you know what? You don't know what you're talking about. You are repeating Christianity. Let me ask you a question. Who did Christ die for? Brother, what, what, is, what is the color of Christ? He said, he said, what is the color of Christ? Don't, don't Let me show you. Walk. Let me show you. You don't know what you're talking about. What is Christ's color? Right. You say you love Jesus Christ. What is the color of Christ? Simple question. Very basic. You said you love Christ. If you're following Christ, you must know what he looks like. Christ walked the earth. He ate. He healed people. He touched people. They crucify him. His blood was shed on the on the earth for our sin. Right. We believe that, we're preaching that, we're teaching that. Right. He was a man that walked the earth. He has flesh. Right. What color was that flesh? Let me see you. Uh, all your Bring it up. Answer my question first. Answer my question first. Answer my question first. Because you're a liar, bro. You just keep talking. No, because you're a liar. Yeah. I never Answer my question. What color was Christ? I never said Answer my question. I will listen right, to you answer my question first. No, answer my question first. No, answer my question first. Answer my question first. I will listen to you after that. What color was Jesus the Christ? Give me that answer, then I will listen to you. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, all right. Yeah, you say that. It doesn't matter. Fine, listen, fine. What do you want to say now? Stop, stop. You say I don't want to listen. I'm listening now. Now, you said it doesn't matter what color Christ is, right? Go ahead. So now my whole point is, when you get stuck up on the idea of, oh my God, he was this race or he was this race, you lose, you're losing the, the whole point is to keep your eyes on Christ. Yes. His message, his, his, right. his, his, his sacrifice, what okay. he did. I, I got you. Listen, now, I, I listen to you, right? I listen so to I you. Said, but you can't keep going on and on because why? We got to go back and forth. But we got to go with the scripture. Bro, listen, You're not bringing the scripture. Bro, you pick, yo, the, the Bible says bro, you got to bring to the scripture. What scripture you bring out? What scripture you bring out? Matthew 10, 5 and 6. What scripture you bring out? I'm bringing scripture. We got to read the Bible, bro. Right. But you saying that Christ died for everybody. He came in, who died for everybody. Listen, Jesus Christ was a black man. He's a black man. Right, when he comes right. back, he's going to come back as a black man. Right. He changed the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? What he's teaching that, bro, is Christianity, white man's doctrine, white man's philosophy, right. white supremacy. Right. That's the reason why the black community is the way it is. Right. Because of the churches. Right. The church are not teaching the people how to love Christ. Right. Because they say what? We don't have to keep the laws of God. We should hope for victory over sin. We should not have any relationship with the law, which is over 600 of them. And also not, not even the Big Ten. Who did Jesus Christ that came for? Matthew 3, 5, and 6. We are reading the Bible here. Read. These 12. Listen to this. Jesus sent forth. Come on, let's go. And commanded them, say, go not unto the way of the Gentiles. Yo, I pray all y'all come to the truth. Stop listening to this false doctrine. They but only no pick and choose scriptures sheep. that appease to their doctrine. That, that, that. That, you that. Their doctrine. The Stop Bible that, says Jesus Christ God sent Christ to the lordship of the house of earth. You, my friend, you are a liar. Yes, right. You are a sinner. And if you don't repent, you're going to die, my brother. Right. Right. We're trying to save your soul. If you don't repent, you're going to die. Right. Because you say it doesn't matter. 
You said Christ God don't matter, and he does matter. Bro, you know why? You Remember that shit for uh, 14 verse 9. Let me show you why Jesus Christ God don't matter. If God doesn't matter, why? Says 1940 something that give us a white image. When asked, what does Jesus look like? Most people form a similar vision in their minds. A gentle man with long hair, a beard, olive skin, and a soft glowing spirit. That's the Jesus most see. The Jesus painted by commercial artist Warner Salmon less than a century ago. Why the pastors, nobody ever asked the pastors, Pastor, why do you have a white image of Christ in the church? But the moment we try to bring the truth of the Bible, color doesn't matter. Right. Let me show you why color matter. Read hey, that. Revelation chapter 14, verse And so of course, the lake of fire. Christ says you're going to be burned in the lake of fire for worshiping the wrong image. Right. Let's read that. And the third angel followed them, say with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast. If any man worship the beast. The image of Jesus, white Christ, is the image of the beast. Right. Read. And his image. And his image. So image is very important. Right. Read. And receive his mark. You receive his mark in your forehead. Meaning what? You preach in Christianity. Right. That's you receiving it. Read. Or in his head. The head. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, Read. which is poured out without mixture uh -huh. into the cup of his indignation. Read. And he shall be tormented. He shall be what? He shall be tormented. For worshiping the wrong image of Christ. The Bible says you will be tormented. Where? With fire. With what? With fire. Nuclear. Destruction. That's, right. That's what's coming to America. Right. You keep talking about a white image, it doesn't matter. But the Bible says for worshiping the wrong image, you will be tormented and be burned with fire. Right. With your white supremacy doctrine. Because the white Christ is a white supremacy. The Bible records Christ as a black man. Right. According to Revelation, the first chapter. 14 to 15 verse. Right. What Bible are you not reading in the Christian church? Read. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. The Bible says you will be tormented with fire and brimstone. Right. Read. In the presence of the holy angel. In the what? In the presence of the holy angel. In the presence of the holy angel. Raphael. UEL, right. the archangel is going to be watching you right. burning right. in the lake of fire That's for right. worshiping the wrong image. Right. So image is very important. Right. You know? That's why you black people were so happy when Barack Obama became president. Right. Why? Because he looks just like you. Right. You thought you accomplished something. We finally got a first black president. And he didn't do nothing for you. We right. And in the presence of the Lamb. And in the presence of Christ. You don't repent. You're going to be burned and tormented in the lake of fire. In the presence of the holy angel. And in the presence of the Lamb. Right. A lot of you Christians talk about, I am washing the blood of the Lamb. Right. But the Lamb says, you worship the wrong image, you will be tormented in fire. That's right. right. That's what the Bible says. I don't know what Bible you're reading. That's the same thing in every Bible. Turbo nuclear destruction. America is heading doomsday. It's unpreferable for the United States. So you black people that keep going until 2024, you still thinking that Christ is a white man. You, you, and you, you need to repent. There's more on that. And the smoke of their torment and the smoke of their torment we ascended up forever and ever see that forever and ever right that's hell right that's the literally hell the bible speaks of right why for worshiping the wrong image
nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord!